So as like I was explaining the other time, the chromatic, I've already taught you how to use chromatic. So when you are trying to get the person's voice in chrom using chromatic, you don't need to rush. You, you don't need to do, you don't need to do, no, you don't need to do like this. When you're trying to get the person's voice, don't do like this. Don't run the scale. You get, I only I'm only teaching you so that you can use the scale in everyday practice. You can know many scales in your head and practice them. Can practice on your own. This, this is chromatic scales. But when, so when you're trying to get the voice of the key, you cannot do like this and get it because it's too fast. So you got to slow down. You press it one first. First press do 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 do. You will be you will be on minute on your own. You reduce the volume. Take it down. Person as the person is singing, it's none of your business. Just get the person's do first. The person is singing, Oh Lord my God, how excellent is your name. Just say do on your own. Just say do. Get the do, and then be on minute yourself. Do 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 until the do will sound. And now it's sounding it sounded like this do 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 do. So this is person's voice now. So if it's not here, you check do 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 do. Until it's rhyming with the sound, with the person's voice first. So you gotta take your time. So we check here too, until, yeah, I do get it. So now, um, the chromatic scales, I want, this is, remember, this is your, the right finger. Right? I've taught you before, you can watch my previous video, they are there. So all these things, if you're doing them continuously, your hand is going to be fast. Automatically, your consciously just, be, consciously just become fast by itself or unconsciously. You don't need to rush it. You can take it slow. So let me teach you the left. So because in chromatic, it's good to play two of them together. Let me teach you the left. Now the left is, you know, in chromatic, you're making all the, you're doing, you're making of the three. This three finger, right? These three fingers. Let this take that what you're making of this one, your thumb, your second finger, your third finger. So the left is the same. The left you're gonna make you so let me teach you the left. So the left is see my hands, you're gonna make your thumb. Your thumb for the left, then your thumb, your thumb will play C, which is your do. Your thumb will play C, which is your do. Can you hear the note? Your thumb will play C, which is your do. Your third finger, um, third finger will play. Your third finger will play your your D. This is chromatical, right? Which is your D, which is your C sharp. Then your thumb, your, your Re, which is your D. Your third finger, D sharp, which is your Re. Hope you're getting it. So you're basically you're using this one and three, one and three. So your, so if, if you're, you're, let's go ahead, let's do it again. Your thumb, your D, your Re, your Re, then your, this your finger will play, this one will play me, which is your E. Your second finger will play me, which is your E. You bring, you'll come back to your fourth. Your fourth is your one. It's your Fa. Your fourth is your one, it's your Fa. Then you play your, uh, what's it called? Your third finger will play your Fi. Do you get it? Then you, your, your pink, your thumb, your, your Fi is your F sharp. Your thumb, your thumb will play G, which is your saw. So your thumb finger, will play, your thumb will play G, which is your saw. Then you play your your thumb finger will play your Z, which is your Z is your what A, A and G sharp, brother, a G sharp. Then your thumb, La, which is your A, and then your third finger, A sharp, which is your Lee, and then you your your second finger plays your. Do you get it? So. What I did, what I did was, see, your one, your your three, your one, your three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, two, one, three, one, three, one, three, two, one. Again, one, three, one, three, one. Sorry, one, three, one, three. Two, one, three, one, three, one, three, two, one.
So we're coming back the same thing. One one three one three one one three one three two one two one three one three one three two one. So two so one two one two three one three one three sorry one two three one three one three one two three one three one you see it say so the same way you're gonna come back one two three one three one three one two three one three one so so now let's do it together so do you know why i'm teaching you the left i'm teaching you the left so you can blend the two together it is sweeter when you you do the you know you learn it in the hard way and you do it in the hard way make sure it makes you to be confident when you're playing you get so i want to blend the two together now just watch me you know i've touched the right hand before so you, on your own you can practice it so it's just easy so So we'll continue from here in our, in our next class. So, so I'll teach you blue scales in my next class. Blue scales, then from there we'll learn other thing. You know, learn, learn how to use to play song. Sorry. So I'll teach you my I'll see you in my next class where I'll be teaching you blue scales using the right hand and uh, blue scales and from there I'll teach you how to use how to play solo song solo a song you know using the principle of your one four and five you know so don't miss my next class I'll see you in my next class so take care bye bye for now.